in this lesson we are actually going to discuss about an attack that could result from writing your self destruct functions wrongly so don't misunderstand by the title of this slide self destruct is actually not an attack it's a it's a feature that allows you to destroy your contracts but if not used properly it could result in uh, draining the funds from your contract so what does self destruct really do by calling self destruct contracts or rather i like to call it instances of contracts can be deleted from the blockchain by using this function what this does is it sends all the remaining etho in that contract to a designated address that goes as a part of the self destruct parameter however a malicious contract can use self destruct to force sending ether to any contract let's see how this attack actually takes place yet again so ready by example for our rescue so if you see this particular contract this is an ether game contract and the goal of this game is to be the seventh player to deposit one ether players can on, can deposit only one ether at a time and winner will be able to withdraw all ether so what you can do and how this is potentially prone to attack is that okay let's before that let's quickly take a look at the contract itself you have the contract ether game target amount for this contract is 7 ether for this game rather because you want to be the seventh player to attack to deposit one ether right and then there's a winner you can deposit using the deposit function where you have you are checking that you can only deposit one ether and then you get the address that is the balance of this and if the balance is less than equal to target amount you see game is over your target amount is 7 ether and if the balance is equal to equal to target amount then you can say that sorry if the balance is greater than target amount then the game is over and if balance is equal to equal to target amount then whoever has sent at that point in time that message dot sender is the winner right and how does the winner claim their reward if the winner is the message dot sender then you send the value you send to that particular message dot sender this value which is nothing but the balance of the contract so you are saying address of this dot balance which should ideally give you the balance of the contract and then when the, it is true then you say okay if it is false you say it's failed to send ether right now how can we attack this particular contract once you deploy the ether game right and say alice and bob decide to play they deposit one e one ether each right now you can deploy an attack contract with the ether game address right and how do you call this attack is you call the attack dot attack by sending five ether this will break the game and no one can become the winner right now okay so how what happens in the attack is that attack forces the balance of ether game to be equal to 7 ether once the balance is actually greater than your target amount right then the game is over and the balance never reaches target amount in this case and so you are unable to set the message dot sender so why does the balance not reach the target amount let's take a look now when you're calling this particular attack function from this attack contract what you're saying is that you are casting the address to payable basically and you're just calling self destruct of this particular address right so what you are actually doing is when you are destructing this particular contract right you are sending you are calling self destruct of this contract that is your attack contract and you are sending your whatever your five ether to this particular contract right to this particular contract but you are actually not calling the deposit function so there is no way that your ether is reaching here right so your ether you are you are not at all reaching the deposit function this particular ether game function has seven ether why or how because the attack contract actually called 
self destruct on itself and the five ether that this contract received were sent to an address that is meant to be sent in self destruct this address is the address of this particular contract right and five ether were sent to this earlier two ether have already been sent to this by alice and bob who started playing this game so now this has seven ether now this already has seven ether but the balance of this the you know target amount will be obviously it's seven ether so it is equal to target amount so the game is over but the winner is not set so now there is seven ether stuck in this contract without being able to set a winner right now there nobody will be able to claim the reward because there is no winner that is set so what is one of the preventative ways to overcome this contract to overcome these kind of attacks is to constantly keep updating your balance as per the payable amount that you get in this function right now here we are using this global variable called address of this dot balance this is trying to get the address of this contract but we are not keeping the track of how much money was sent to this particular function which is associated with the game so if anyone tries to send any funds to this particular contract the balance will obviously increase but they may try to be they may try to manipulate this contract just like this using self destruct right however it is best practices to track the balance of that particular functions those particular functions which you are using for creating logic here your entire logic is dependent on this particular balance amount right and every time you try to get the balance of this contract people who are trying to manipulate this contract will be able to manipulate the balance by sending unnecessary ether to this particular contract so this is one of the ways to work around this in your solidity by example there is a work around example as well which i would like you to try and then post your solution to your peers on discord and then discuss why this is a fix and how it fixes this problem